Over the past few days, we've heard many in the media talk about how this has been a rough week for the administration. Actually, it's been a, a worse week for the First Amendment. On Friday, we learned that just as we'd been told by our constituents, the IRS deliberately targeted conservative groups across the country in the midst of a heated national election. Over the weekend, we learned that the extent of it was even broader, even broader than we originally thought. Then this morning, we all learned that the targeting wasn't limited to an IRS office out of Cincinnati, as the administration suggested last week, but that it reached all the way to the IRS headquarters right here in Washington. What we don't know at this point is whether it jumped the fence from the IRS to the White House. But we do know this, we can't count on the administration to be forthcoming about the details of this scandal, because so far they've been anything but. So this morning I'm calling on the president to make available completely and without restriction, everyone, everyone who can answer the questions we have as to what's been going on at the IRS who knew about it, and how high it went. No stonewalling, no more incomplete answers, no more misleading responses, no holding back witnesses, no matter how senior their current or former positions. We need full transparency and we need full cooperation. The American people deserve answers. The answers that the IRS has now owned up to and that were uncovered by their own inspector general are an outrage, an absolute outrage. We now know that the IRS targeted groups for using such terminology, terminology as, get this, we the people. And for educating folks about the US Constitution and the Bill of Rights. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. 